Yeah, Jalen, I guess just what does uh, all SEC second team, all SEC freshman team, what does what does that mean to you? And what what do you I guess how do you feel like you you did this year overall? Uh, felt like my play was pretty good throughout the year, but obviously I'm second team. That means that I got work to do. So I'm honored, but you know I'm satisfied, and it just feel for me to keep going and make the list next year. Hey, hey, Jalen, congrats. Um, uh, Grant got first team. Uh, what did you think of his season? What's he meant to your all's defense? Uh, he was the motor of our defense, and he deserves that without a doubt. Um, his motor throughout the uh, year, the plays he made, and putting us in the best position as a defense and leading our defense. There's no, there's no brain or why he's the first team. And he deserves that with, uh, for all the hard work he has put in uh, to get there. So I'm proud of him. How big is it that you guys are getting him back for the bowl game after he had to miss the uh, Alabama game? Oh, that's huge. You know, I know he uh, he w- he wanted to play a Texas Bowl, especially, and for him to be back and be ready to go is definitely uh, huge for our defense and gives us some uh, confidence to go into the game for sure. Okay, I got a couple more. I'll, I'll turn it back over to to Jacob. Scotty, yeah, Jayla, what have you what have you seen from? TCU's quarterback on film, he seems like he's a pretty good dual threat guy. I think he leads him in rushing too. Yeah, and I mean, he's a playmaker, you know. He's a competitive guy. I mean, he's going to make the plays needed to help this put his team in the best situation to win the game, and I have much respect for him. And uh, he, I think he's a uh, much run, a better runner than what people credit him for. I mean, he's lead a team in rushing. That shows that he can do with his feet too, but he just makes plays. I mean, he does what a quarterback has to do to help his team win, so we just got to note that. Uh, be in the position to stop it and, uh, you know, throw, throw our best punch at him. But, I mean, I respect him as a quarterback, and obviously uh, he puts TCU's offense in a good position. But uh, we have a nice game plan. I think we'll be ready for him. I think Bumper was named to the All-SEC second team, too. What do you think about his year? Uh, he's had a great year as well. You know, he's been around a ball uh, all throughout the year, making tackles and um, – just, you know, helping our defense, you know, setting the edge and um, just meeting the running back in the hole for sure. So, uh, no, nah, he, he deserves that with uh, for all he has done and um, just uh, all the plays he's made this year. Bob? Uh, Jalen, you get to go back to your home state um, to play your bowl game. I'm sure you would have been excited where to go anywhere, but how, how exciting is it to – to go back to your home state and get to play at a team from Texas? Oh, for sure. It's an honor to go back. I'm, I'm excited for it. I know there's a lot of people on this team are from Texas, so it's going to be like a homecoming type game for us. So we'll be ready and just excited to be back down in Texas and um, playing in my home state. I, I should remember this, but did TCU recruit you? I assume they probably did. Or did they offer you? Or uh, Yes, sir, they did. Did, did, did you uh, take a visit there? What did you think of that whole deal? Yeah, I took a visit there. Um, love the coaches, you know, they're uh, great people and I love the university, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, felt like this was the best place for me and um, I'm here now. So I'm not really going too much about what happened or anything like that. Just uh, found Arkansas to be the best place for me, but, you know, love but not the respect for Coach P and uh, what they have going down there and all the coach staff. You know, a lot of teams, more than I would have thought, around the country are opting out of bowls. I don't know if guys are just tired of playing or what, but or they're not excited. I, I know you guys are excited to play. Are you kind of surprised when you see, you know, a bunch of Pac-10 teams and some ACC teams, I think, opted out as well? Uh, does that surprise you? And just what is it about you guys that, that you're obviously very excited to play in a bowl game? Uh, you know, every team has their own situation of why they're not playing, and that's their business, you know. At the end of the day, we're going to a bowl game, and we're happy that we're going to a bowl game. And excited to be going to a bowl game. It's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of hard work put into it. And I know Pittman has fought hard for us to make sure we get a bowl game. I think we deserved it. So I'm glad that we're uh, not only in the bowl game, but the Texas Bowl is a really exciting one to play in uh, for some Texans to go back home for sure. But, I mean, we're excited. And, you know, like I said, we're just going to worry about what we're doing for our bowl game and do our, make sure we're ready to play when that time comes. Yeah, I got, I got a couple more. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it back to Jacob. Scotty, you have another one? Yeah, Jalen, I was just wondering what you've seen maybe from TCU's skill guys on tape and if any of those guys maybe catch your eye. Yeah, they're they're elusive. You know, they, they're fast and um, 
they'll make you pay for your mistakes for sure. I know they got my number one on the film, uh, Quinn Johnson. Uh, he's the playmaker. Tay Barber, my respect for his game. And, you know, they have some boot, some running backs. I know they have a freshman running back that's really good, along with other backs. So we just have to make sure we're in the right position and just do our jobs, nothing but our jobs, you know. Like I said, I was before, as 11 guys doing one thing. If we do that, I think we can minimize their offense. But, um, like I said, they got some playmakers over there, and we just have to be aware of that and be ready to stop them. All right, last one. Um, okay. Um, you know, sitting, you know, none of the bowls are going to be the normal experience where you go down for several days and, you know, go out and bowl or, you know, do whatever, you know, have dinner with the other team. But Sam Pittman said he's, they've got a couple things planned. Are, are you still looking forward to sort of doing some stuff as a team? And, you know, I don't know if you got, you know, Sam told us a while back that he plays the guitar and the piano. And I guess he used to sing in a group when he was younger. Would, would you like Coach Pittman to be part of the maybe the entertainment if you guys have a, like a bowl party. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not really sure too much of what Coach Pittman's talents are, but I mean, I guess we'll find out when we get there, you know, who knows what he can do, but I'm pretty sure he's a talented guy and he's got some tricks up his sleeve for us for sure. Like I said, we're just blessed to be able to go down there and, you know, play another game with this group and uh, we're really excited to have this opportunity. Hey, thanks, man. Merry Christmas. Appreciate you.